Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation. 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to 1 over 7. We need to find all possible values of a plus b, where a and b are positive integers. It means a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. First of all, we multiply both sides of this equation by the LCM of this A and this B. The LCM of A and B is AB. So, we multiply both sides of this equation by AB. AB times 1 over A plus AB times 1 over B is equal to 1 over 7 times AB. Now, this A will be cancelled with this A and this B will be cancelled with this B. And this B times 1, B plus A times 1, A is equal to 1 times AB, AB over 7. Now, because here we have 7, so we multiply both sides of this equation by 7, like this 7 times B plus a is equal to a b over 7 times 7. Now, 7 times b 7 b plus 7 times a 7 a is equal to this 7 will be cancelled with this 7 and at right side left a b. Now, we move this 7 b and this 7 a to the right side then this equation becomes a b this plus 7 b becomes negative 7 b and this plus 7 a becomes negative 7 a is equal to 0. Now, because square of this 7 square of this 7 is equal to 49. So, we add we add 49 to both sides of this equation like this a b minus 7 b minus 7 a we add at left side 49 is equal to 0 and we add at right side 49. Now, from these two terms a b minus 7 b we can factor out b. So, b as a common factor and in bracket left a minus 7. In from these two terms, negative 7a plus 49, we can factor out negative 7. Negative 7 as a common factor and in bracket left, a minus 7 is equal to 0 plus 49, 49. Now, as you can see, this expression a minus 7, this expression a minus 7 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus 7 a minus 7 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this b and this minus 7 in bracket left b minus 7 is equal to 49. Now, we have two factors at left side and this 49 can be factorized as one time 49, 49 times 1 and 7 times 7. Now, because A and B both are positive integers, so we must solve these three cases. Case 1 is 1 times 49 and case 2 is 49 times 1 and case 3 is 7 times 7. First, we solve this case 1, 1 time 49. In case 1, we write this a minus 7 times b minus 7, a minus 7 times b minus 7 equal to this 1 time 49, 1 time 49. Now, from here, this a minus 7 equal to this one 
and this uh, b minus 7 equal to this 49 so a minus 7 is equal to 1 and b minus 7 is equal to 49 from here a is equal to 1 plus 7 and a is equal to 8 and from here b is equal to 49 plus 7 and b is equal to 56 but we need to find the value of a plus b so a plus b is equal to 8 plus 56 that is equal to 64 so from here we get the first value of a plus b 64 now we solve this uh, case to 49 times 1 now in case 2 we write this a minus 7 times b minus 7 a minus 7 times b minus 7 equal to this 49 times 1 49 times 1 now from here we write this a minus 7 equal to this 49 and we write this b minus 7 equal to this one so a minus 7 is equal to 49 and b minus 7 is equal to 1 and from here a is equal to 49 plus 7 and a is equal to 56 and from here b is equal to 1 plus 7 and b is equal to 8 and value of a plus b is equal to 56 plus 8 that is equal to 64 so from here we get the second value of a plus b 64 now we solve this case 3 7 times 7 in case 3 we write this a minus 7 times b minus 7 a minus 7 times b minus 7 equal to 7 times 7 Now we write this a minus 7 equal to this 7 and we write this b minus 7 equal to this 7. So a minus 7 is equal to 7 and b minus 7 is equal to 7. From here a is equal to 7 plus 7 and a is equal to 7 plus 7 14 and from here b is equal to 7 plus 7 and b is equal to 7 plus 7 14 from here we get the value of a 14 and value of b 14 and value of a plus b is equal to 14 plus 14 that is equal to 28 so from here we get the third value of a plus b 48 so the final set of solutions of a plus b is equal to this 64 this 64 and this 28 so set of a plus b is equal to 28 comma 64 this is the final answer of this equation
so values of a plus b are 28 and 64. 